Hello and welcome to our next episode of Kaplan's Online Introduction to America. My name is Todd Hansen and I'm a teacher here in Kaplan, Bangkok. Now today we'd like to talk about the state Colorado. Okay, uh, Colorado is in the Rocky Mountains and uh, somewhat in the middle of the United States. If you have, say, uh, Los Angeles over here and New York over here, Colorado would be almost in the middle with some mountains here in the true middle of the United States about here. Uh, now, as I mentioned, Colorado is part of the Rocky Mountains, the tall, some of the tallest mountains in America. A lot of these mountains are 13,000, 14,000 feet tall. In meters, that would be approximately 4,000, 4,300 meters tall, very high mountains. So Colorado actually offers a really great uh, lifestyle environment. Um, in terms of the universities, let's talk about that first and then we'll talk about the, uh, the lifestyle. Uh, now Colorado does not have any of the most highly ranked universities, but it has a very strong university system. First, there's the University of Colorado, which has three universities, uh, one in Denver and one in Boulder, Colorado, among the major ones. Uh, some of these universities have 20,000, 25,000 students. And then about one hour north of Denver, Denver being the capital of Colorado, uh, you have Fort Collins. Um, at Fort Collins, you have the Colorado State University at Fort Collins, which is also a well-regarded school. Now, again, even though they're not top ranked, some of you might be targeting uh, non-top 10, non-top 20 schools, and this might not be a bad choice. People in Colorado tend to be very friendly. Uh, the lifestyle is more relaxed, less stressed. Uh, in these cities, in Denver, it's a little bit of a large city, but um, in Boulder and Fort Collins, uh, the lifestyle is, as I mentioned, more relaxed and slower. There's no traffic. And not only that, from these cities, you can actually see the Colorado mountains. Beautiful mountains, very tall, covered in snow. Now, I've actually been to Colorado in August and it's actually not that cold. It's very comparable to maybe uh, Chiang Mai uh, during uh, April or perhaps March. So you could be very comfortable there most of the year. But I do have to warn you, during the uh, winter it can get extremely cold, especially by Thai standards. Uh, now in terms of what you can do in Colorado, during the winter you have some of the best skiing anywhere. You have places like Vail and many other uh, outstanding skiing and snowboarding resorts. If you've never tried it before, it's a lot of fun. You just put on your skis and zip down the slope very fast, you can have a great time. Uh, additionally, not only can you have fun during the winter, uh, but during the spring, summer, and early fall months, Colorado is a great place for hiking and all sorts of outdoor activities, whether it's fishing or, or hunting or uh, enjoying barbecues outdoors. So it's a very great, natural, uh, very beautiful environment. So if you're looking for an alternative and you don't want to be on the coast of America in Los Angeles or New York or Boston, Colorado's not a bad choice. In fact, my brother lives there and every time I go out to visit, I always have a good time. So that's all the time we have for today. We'll see you on the next episode.